All right, so I got cut short yesterday. Oh, right into the truck. I got cut short yesterday. Um, because I realized that I have to do the gutter work for the rainwater tank before I can go any further with the decking um, because of how it's going to end up needing to be notched. So, that being said, we're going to Home Depot. We're going to uh, get some pipe, a bunch of fittings, and uh, Brandon's on his way up today. So, I got help again. Hopefully, we can get this done. I have a, I got a over the internet meeting with uh, Dirt Perfect today, a little later on, so I got to be ready for that, um, you know, going over his campaign strategies and stuff for this year. So, uh, as you can tell, I'm dressed for the occasion. So, yeah, let's uh, get a move on. I guess he's wasting no time uh, getting caught up for not being here. I'll tell you, it's really hard to find friends this good. That'll do perfect. All right, so basically I did a terrible job filming today. Um, as you can see, I cut my head off for pretty much every bit of the shot and never really moved the camera around too much. Uh, so we're going to let bygones be bygones and scrap the footage from it, basically. Uh, in a minute here, I'm going to pick up at the next day, and I'll probably explain to you that we didn't get anything done, really, because we were fighting uh, daylight here. We got a really late start, etc., etc. Excuse, excuse. But, um, so yeah, here we go. Okay, here we are on day three. <laughs> this has been painful, trust me. Um, we didn't get much accomplished yesterday because we didn't have that much time. And I'm pretty sure I did a terrible job of filming what we did get accomplished. So, real quick, you can see up there that we have the uh, leaf eater attached, the PVC going down. The PVC is attached here, and it comes down the joist. And we come back, and that's about as far as we got. So what's going to happen is this pipe, is going to get mounted to this beam go into this t you can't see because of the sun go into this t come all the way down and we are going to end up the exact same setup up here we'll have the leaf eater the pvc coming down we'll put this joist in because this gutter will finally be moved and it'll run on the side of the joist come over the beam like i said it'll tie in down there now off this T-fitting here is going to be another T-fitting, and that's going to have what's called the first flush on it. And I will explain that more in depth later. But basically what that does is it takes the first bit of rainwater off the roof and collects it before putting it in the tank. And then a little ball floats up and seals it off when it's full. And then the water diverts from the other side of that T, and it's going to come down, and then we're going to drill it in right here. And this is going to be the inlet of this tank. That'll be the pump outlet. We'll have to drill a hole over here for the overflow outlet on this tank. Before we can do all of that as a final effort, we're going to have to move the tank and put down rubber horse stall mats underneath of it. Because I'm worried about it, you know, in the real hot, or hot weather or something with all that water in it. I don't want these rocks to be able to pierce it. Um, it might be a little bit overkill or a, of a kind of a panic situation here, but at the end of the day, it's going to be like a hundred bucks in uh, horse stall mats to not dump out 1,600 gallons, you know, into my yard uh, and essentially ruin a thousand dollar tank. So before that's completely finalized and hooked up, we'll do that. We'll set it where we want it, level it as best we can, make sure there's room for the pump, and. Uh, I have the pump in the garage that came with it and we'll cover more of that in depth that'll probably be the next well not the next video but the next video about the rainwater will actually cover the tank more i think so i'm going to start trying to put these pipes up brandon's almost here and uh, i'm going to do a little bit of a let me put this 
how do I say this? I'm going to try harder to film decently today. Yesterday, like I said, it was so late when we got started that we were just trying to get something accomplished. So I got you on the other, the bendy tripod. I should be able to hang you from one of the beams. And uh, let's see if we can get to it. All right, so here we are finally installing the second leaf eater. Um, this is a little bit more in depth, obviously, than not seeing it at all. Uh, just checking to make sure it's level, screwing it into the wall, putting this protective screen on it. And then uh, we have to measure for the downspout portion of it, cut that and anchor it to the house. Um, and all of this, we're just dry fitting at the moment. We will uh, glue it all up after, you know, everything's pretty much perfect and we know that it's all working uh, how we want. Uh, what we ended up doing was just putting one of the flexible uh, downspout extensions off of the bottom of that T-fitting for now because we didn't have a chance to put in the horse tail mats yet. But um, this is basically just a little overview. I I'm actually going to do an in-depth video on the entire rainwater collection system because I did a lot of research to spec it out and figure it out and I found some companies that were really helpful but I couldn't really find too much information that was um, around the scale that I needed I guess on YouTube so I'd like to contribute that if I can and uh, now we're we're down under the deck obviously we're just putting that floor or that joist up on the on the uh, ledger because originally the gutter was in the way for that and we didn't want to take the gutter down without having something to uh, to control the water from the rain so that's why we never we just skipped that one, moved on to the next one, and we're setting it now. But uh, in the next clip, you'll see how we had to level all of the joists at the end before we could put the, um, I guess it's called the header. I don't exactly know what that piece is called. I'm not a builder. But um, we ended up having to use the mini for it, and it was just barely enough in some spots. So I got some, just got some confidence going here on... on uh, that this deck is going to be pretty uh, pretty beefy and rigid, you know? So check that out. This one? So yeah, basically as you can see, we just went um, joist by joist. And I'm going to call that the header or the ledger. Let's call it the ledger. No, the ledger's on the house. Let's call it the header. I'm going to call it the header. Um... But uh, basically what we did was we set each end of that to a joist uh, level with the eight foot level across it and then came back and or came back anything that lined up. We, you know, screwed in and then basically went down joist by joist by joist by joist. I have a lot of respect for those uh, Simpson strong tie brackets now because I was pushing pretty hard on that thing and they didn't budge. But uh, yeah, so I'll leave you with this and I think there's one more angle. And uh, that's going to wrap up this video. I'm trying to space them out a little further now so that it's not so much of the same old, same old. But this is extremely time consuming. So uh, 
I just want to say thanks for the people who are watching along and commenting. I read them all. I, love, I answer as many as I can, and I, I very much enjoy hearing from everybody. So um, until next time, everybody uh, have a good day.